Have you recently purchased an HDR monitor or laptop? Let's help you get it set up. Howdy all, in this video we're gonna cover how to set up your HDR monitor or laptop so that you can use Zora Photo Studio X with it. Okay, so first we're gonna check the monitor and its settings. Then we'll walk you through Windows settings. And finally, we'll do a basic calibration for working with your new HDR photographs. Now, if you're not familiar with HDR, have no idea what it is or even how it works, we cover that in a video topic that we did recently, and you can find that in the video description. First, we need to find out if your monitor supports HDR. And you can usually find this information in the store where you bought it, online, or even on the box. Now, if you unfortunately learned that your monitor can't handle HDR, don't worry, we included a link below that will help guide you through the process of picking a correct HDR monitor and you'll find, again, that link in the description below. Now that we know our monitor supports HDR, let's move on and figure out how we can actually use it. Now, manufacturers sometimes don't have HDR turned on for the monitor just to show a better energy consumption on paper or to avoid confusing customers. If your monitor seems like it can't do HDR, check the display menu to see if it needs to be turned on. Each manufacturer uses slightly different terminology. So while we can't tell you exactly where to go, we're sure that if you go to the display settings and look for those three magic letters, HDR, that's what it's gonna be. Now, once everything is enabled and turned on on our monitor, we can move into the Windows settings and turn it on there. First, open Windows settings, select system and then display. Under brightness and color, you can see HDR. After opening HDR, you can see what display options are supported for HDR. Here's where I can see HDR supported. So let's simply turn on the use HDR option. I wanna also add that with laptop displays, HDR often doesn't turn on when it's running on battery and even if it's supported. Now, why is that? Well, because power saving is enabled by default. Disabling power saving is gonna allow us to run HDR even when we're on battery power. Yeah, now the same needs to be done a little bit further down in the video playback settings. Also select optimize for video quality. Now even after doing all this, you still might have to deal with some system or monitor settings just to get the best HDR experience. Make sure you don't have night light on. Turn off adaptive brightness so that it doesn't change based on visible white space. And for standalone monitors, also check the display menu for adaptive brightness or similar. Now this can really negatively affect the HDR experience. Again, each manufacturer is probably gonna have similar enhancements that are hidden elsewhere. Now if they do, it's mainly for energy saving purposes. Some manufacturers don't have a way to turn off adaptive brightness. So depending on its strength, the monitor is either suitable for HDR photo editing or it's not. Read more on this topic in our article when you're purchasing your hardware. And the link is also in the video description. Now, before you set up your HDR, it's gonna be important that we calibrate your monitor. We recommend downloading the free Windows HDR calibration app from the Microsoft Store, and you can also access it from Windows settings or search for it in the store. Use the app to properly calibrate your HDR monitor. The basic calibration process is quite simple. Follow the on-screen instructions and move the sliders so that the images are barely discernible from the rest of the screen. For saturation in the last step, go based on what feels best. But if you just don't know, leave the default settings. Now that we have everything turned on and our monitors are correctly calibrated, let's set up the SDR and HDR contrast ratio properly. I still have my display settings open. And if you have two monitors, click the one that you have in HDR and click use HDR, which we already turned on. Under brightness for SDR, use the slider to decide how much of the brightness is reserved for HDR and at the same time, we don't want the standard dynamic range, or SDR, to be too dark for working on the computer. If you're using a laptop, you're not going to do anything with this. Adjust the brightness reserved for HDR using the buttons to adjust the physical brightness of the monitor. The higher the standard brightness, the less brightness is reserved for HDR. And how was all this done in Zona Photo Studio X? Now, before we go any further, it's a good idea to set a white background behind the photo to compare how the SDR and HDR render your whites. You can find this under Preferences and Appearance. Then select Custom for the editor background color and white next to that. 
Then just click apply. You can see the amount of luminance you are getting from your HDR images in Zora Photo Studio X in the histogram after you open the photo and select HDR processing. You can see a white line that shows the distribution of HDR luminance that your current monitor settings and performance allow for this photo. The red part of the line shows the amount of luminance available in the image data for HDR that is not displayed. You either have to accept that this image data will be clipped or reduce the luminance in the HDR part of the photo or buy a better HDR monitor. Now is also a good time to take a look back at the SDR and HDR brightness balance in Windows settings. You can try changing these settings to find a better balance between normal brightness, like the ZPSX interface, and the brightness highlights of a photo you are currently editing. With modern monitors, you are always looking for a compromise between a bright enough normal image and a large enough margin to use those HDR highlights. Now you might notice that when we see more intense white in an HDR photo, the background around the photo appears gray. And that's because there isn't any more brightness available for the white. To adjust how HDR photos appear in the preview, use the HDR icon, which is located in the middle of the top bar right next to fast previews. We recommend leaving the settings as they are if possible. The default setting is display mode, which is automatic, and that automatically displays HDR if your photo is in HDR. If not, it displays SDR. The brightness clipping setting is also set to automatic. Now HDR range defaults to by the monitor. Now if you have a photo that's edited in both HDR and SDR, and you want to see the SDR one, just change the display mode to force SDR. All right, now that you know how to set everything up, including Zonar Photos to do X with HDR, get out there and start editing your HDR photographs. In case you missed it, there's a link right up here that will help you how to edit photos in HDR. See you later.